Welcome back to Homemade Baking. I'm the OG Ho, and today we're making Fuck Me Donuts. With these, you'll never get them off of you. Before we start, we're going to proof the yeast. Good preparation makes for a fun time. Add two and a half teaspoons of yeast, store-bought, not from your body, to one tablespoon of warm water and one teaspoon of sugar. Let it rise for about 10 to 15 minutes. If it doesn't at least double in size, throw it out and get another one. Now, we're gonna start with three and one third cups of flour. Please remember we make magic with our food here. So we do almost everything we can in threes. Add in one cup of warm milk, any kind. Add in three egg yolks. Add in one third cups of sugar and then add in your yeast. Now you're seeing me do two tablespoons of sugar. I ended up adding more sugar. Extra sweet, never hurt anybody. By the way, I forgot to show you guys. You're also gonna need to add one fourth cup of room temperature butter. The butter I use is called Finlandia. It says it's from Finland. Baby, I get it from Giant. All I know is if the butter is this delicious, I wonder how everyone, everything else over there tastes. Now stir. Remember, clockwise for gain and counterclockwise for loss. You don't need a vagini to make magic. You can do it in your bowl. Stir in threes. Now we're going to knead it. You want your dough to be slightly tacky. However, I always end up adding a little bit more flour to it. If you need to do it, go for it. Do what thou wilt. That is the whole of the law. Knead in threes and when you're done, grease up your bowl and let your dough ball rise for about one to two hours. Remember, it needs a warm and moist environment. Warm and moist environment or it will not rise. Now take out your ball of dough and roll it until it's about a half inch thick or thicker. The more girth it has to it, the more you get from it. However, you will have to cook it slightly longer and work with it a little bit more. You're then going to take a cookie cutter or a wine glass and make little circles re-rolling until you run out of dough. Put them aside on some parchment paper and give them some time to rise. Remember, a warm and moist environment makes everyone happy. Now you're gonna heat up some oil. I like the cheaper option. The expensive stuff is great, but every once in a while, go for the cheap option. It just hits different. You're going to drop the donuts into the hot oil. Do not burn yourself. It works best to do a few at a time if you can handle it. After about 20 seconds, check underneath for a light golden brown color. Flip her over and then tan the other side. When you take them out, stab the middle and make sure it's cooked all the way through. Remember, thicker is not always better. It takes longer to cook. The thin ones are much easier to handle. By the way, do not have your dogs in the kitchen while you do this. You risk burning the shit out of them. 
But you know what? The outside might be crispy, but the inside is what matters. As long as the inside is warm and moist, we are all good. Now we're going to powder them. Pour some confectioner sugar in a bowl, grab your donut and cover it fully. Make sure you get the corners and you cover all sides with your beautiful sweet white deliciousness. And there you have it. With these, they're gonna fuck the shit out of you. Remember, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife, but I can. Stay skinny.